A Paris Hotel Room, circa 2006. The night was longer than it had seemed. Slow and tilting to a crease. My eyes began to wonder where the water would be. And then the call came. Over my electronic periscope attached to my shoulder. A copper ring I spoke into. I was verified. And then the doors opened. I worked nights in an opulent hotel room in the middle of one, the city of lights. Six, nine, zero. I'm no one. Seven, zero. I don't even have a name. One. Six, one, six, one. Six. And there she was. The ingenue. The life. Blonde, flowing hair. Like a goddess. Like a Lord of the Rings queen. like a painting in a basement in Manitou Springs long, long ago, melting in a rainwater, seeping into the ground, fading away into a distant sound that echoed upon my memories. And there she was, platinum in every way, platinum to the core. She wasn't the first queen that I had seen, nor was she the last. But dear God, she shined. Light flows slower through a diamond. At least I think that's true. And if it is, then she must be a diamond. Because light set upon her skin like the dew of morning grass in a memory where I laid with no memories of pain or suffering or sorrow or loss or sadness or adulthood. And there she was. Immediately, a song rang through my ears. The elevator doors head open to a place I had not been. At least not in this way. It was a private elevator made only for the family of the queen. And though this was simply a princess, an empress she would be, for it was already there No one had given it the name. I stretched out my white gloved hand.
my sword I turned to the side. Pardon this machinery, I said. She looked down and looked back up. Her eyes rose upon me like an elevator, as an elevator, in an elevator, a lift, a cue to the sky, a wonk of Vader. Dear God, she ruptured my senses. And you are, she said. I didn't speak. It's a weird thing I do. Whenever someone speaks to me before they know me, I take a long pause and wait for anyone. Do it for the president. You'll see what it does. It gives you time. I waited. I know you heard me. I'm not sure what this power struggle thing is that you're doing. There's no need for it. I mean you no harm. Dear God, she read me. This is to say that she had not been greeted with such honesty and tell to the tabloid world out on the sands. Out there in the legete, out there in the sky, Out there long, long beyond the Lafon. She was there. I was there. A time and place in history that will never exist again. A time and place in history that never existed before. A pinpoint, a singularity. There we stood. The gap of what could have been a million floors between us. I stood there. and told her my name. I did not think it meant much. She took my hand. I pulled her aboard as gently as if lifting an orchid to transplant. Gently. As if I held the answer to the world. She was aboard. The direction we went, I'll never tell. The things we saw, I'll never forget. The door to her palace stretched to the sky. Emerald and gold all around. Not chipped, not stolen, not plundered. Cared for. Preserved. Gold preserved. Platinum she was. And her face to the world a different than she was about to give to me. We stood at her door. Her eyes sparkling blue. Long, 
deep platinum blue. Get used to that word, brain, I thought. The platinum blue will be with you forever. Dear God, there she was. I awoke in that moment. There at her door. My hand she took again to step over the gap. The corridor. Lit in a way as if magic hurled itself against the wall. In shame and reverence. The floor. Steps of cobblestone. Gems. Arkin stones. Things I'd never seen. Things that never were. At the door. There she was. We stood for a moment. Drenched in terror, I did not know what I should do. I had seen her kind before, but never up close. I've heard stories of the lilacs now. I've heard lies of the common hood that they really are. But I had truly met a seraphim. Siren to some, broken to the ignorant, the thing I saw before me. Ethereal. Ah, oh, my Europa. She asked me. No, she demanded me to have the courage and not try to steal the power. I had no clue what she meant. And in the 30 years in between, I remember everything.